Meeting you halfway, you stupid hippies. What's goody, guys? It's me, J Ruff. Welcome back to more WWE SmackDown vs. The Raw of the 2007. In the last episode, I realized that we culminated to such a nice, grand old feud with Triple H, and it finally paid off in a TLC match that was worth the price of admission. We got a pretty good, solid feud out of that. The whole Big Show and Carlito thing in the beginning, that kind of sucked. But it's been steadily picking up from there, and it's left me at a spot where I'm very interested to see what we have next. Uh, uh just brought me back here. Uh, be be begin the week again. Uh, what? Behind every great man. Oh, here it comes. Here, there's the diva one. Because obviously behind every great man is a great woman. Oh, okay. Um, well, I'm very intrigued right away. It says behind every great man, I guess there's a great woman. That's 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 the what the thing that answers that. And I do remember there was a certain storyline with a featuring a certain uh, female talent on the roster. I only remember one clip of it, and I don't remember the context. It was very quick that I saw it. it it's a long time ago thing, you know. Um, so I don't exactly know where the storylines are going, but I did not expect that we're starting this with Cena versus RVD, which is, again, actually, you know what, this is, whether intentional or not, this is capturing essentially how it went that year in 2006. I mean, you know, it's 2007, but, like, this is based on 2006. Like, we have Cena and RVD, and you know what? We'll just get into it when the match begins. Well, here we are. So, John Cena and RVD. You remember our last playthrough? John Cena and RVD were already at each other's throats when that began. But, you know, for as much as it seems like they are coming to a heads in these games, they really don't, they haven't interacted much. However, they have a very famous interaction at ECW One Night Stand 2006. It's one of the very first pay-per-views that I ever watched, live. And that night was just wild in general. I remember sitting like inches from the TV with a bunch of people around. Kids from the, the other places in my apartment building just coming to watch it with us. Had the fam, had 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 just just you know everybody around just to just to watch this big event, and it happened and it culminated with RVD beating John Cena in the most hostile environment and crazy match I've ever seen. I mean, it wasn't like an amazing match, but it was just a crazy environment. And also, if you can hear that. I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna come out now, obviously, because I dub over these things to avoid copyright. But this is a, a theme that RVD I don't think actually ever used, which sucks because it kicks so much fucking ass. This was supposed to be his like main event push theme, and he never used it. And I thought it would have been really amazing, especially because he was being, he's being, you know, he was being put in that spot. Unfortunately, dude, like. He got busted for having that green, that, you know, that green stuff, the lima beans, if you know what I'm talking about, as while well, he was the champion, and that basically just forbade him from becoming a champion ever again in his career, which sucks, and it was at the very, it was at its very peak, honestly. So who knows? I mean, there are definitely a bunch of times where you could have given the belt to RVD in the time, like, he was always one of the most over guys from the moment... I mean, shit, in ECW, wherever RVD's been, he's been, like, loved by the fans. It's astonishing that he's only really gotten the, the shot as the top guy for, like, a month. Um, and, you know, any time after that, it would have been too little too late. Like, that was the time, and it just, you know, it fucked up. But, you know, it's crazy when you hear about the, the, that green stuff, and all the, the good, you know, that is, has gone a long way to make it, you know not 
a punishable offense of a crime, you know, and all that stuff, but this, you know, this is not really the topic for this, this kind of a video, but it just sucks that what it did to damage, you know, the damage that the previous era did to RVD, when nowadays the worst would have been just like a fine, you know? And, and it wouldn't have been talked about, you know? He would have still probably been the champion, and, you know, maybe he would have gotten, like, a suspension, but, like, it, you know, I, I don't even think that. Um, but this isn't going like a traditional RVD and Cena match would go, because I'm, I'm doing pretty well. In fact, um, I wouldn't be surprised if I just end this right here, and I haven't even talked about much of that one-night stand match anyways. Um, but basically, that match, the crowd was so against Cena, like, they were literally, like, he threw his t-shirt into the crowd, and they were, like, spitting on it and throwing it back, and then some, oh wow, okay. And then some dude, what, like, the security guard even got in on it, he wiped his ass with it, and then he threw it back. Like, fuck, like... Like, even the security guard was like, fuck you to John Cena. Like, that's crazy, because, again, like, Cena is someone that everybody loves now. Like, everybody, you know what, RVD, if you wanted to do that, <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm gonna do, because it's abusable as fuck. He's gonna turn red. Um, but yeah, like, people hated John Cena, like, to the point of no return, half, you know? Like, alright, can I stop now? Alright, cool. So I'm not tired now. And that's about it. <laughs> Look how much like, my shit went all the way down. Oh my god, RBD is like out cold. Maybe he's just high. Oh, wow. And then the, in the absolute chaos, I think that's where Edge became my least favorite person. Because he screwed John Cena of, out of the championship. And John Cena was my favorite. And that was the first time I'd ever seen John Cena lose the championship. And I never disliked RBD. But uh, that, that just went on to Edge, and the feud that followed would make me hate Edge forever. And you know what? Like, Edge... Edge... Uh, I, I like the guy now, but, like... You, 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 done, you done did a lot of damage to little old J-Ruff as a, as a youngin'. I, I tell you what. And it sucks is that RVD, even after all this stuff... Like, it's, it's not like... You know, not only did he not get the chance to do anything like this again, and wow, I didn't even realize Cena could do that shit. Oh, he kicked, he fucking kicked me. I probably would have been a rope break anyway. But, like, RVD was moved to ECW and then got a lot of injuries, and, like, ECW was never... I'm gonna beat him with a fucking headlock takeover. Hell yeah! Like, good old MJF. So, like, for the foreseeable future of RVD's run, he never really got a shot at the title until, like, he came back for, like, a nostalgia run. Up, oh, and here we go. Yep. You're gonna say it's the masterpiece Chris Master... What? It came out to Trish's music. Remember the masterpiece Chris, Chris Masters, guys? Remember when that guy was supposed to be big? Oh my god, you deserve a hand, because that would look. Your hands look fucking weird in this game. <laughs> CM? No, no, Those tights really say no, CM? Are you serious? Enjoy showing that WWE title off while you can. God, CM versus John Cena in this game, too? To be able to do it. You see, your opponent for next week's title defense is none other than this man right here, the masterpiece. Chris the masterpiece? Why did he get a title shot already? Also, it's Edge is just never match. getting a title shot. No, no, no. <laughs> it's going to be a ladder match. <laughs> Where did this come from? How does she, who is she, the general manager? Oh, this is gonna be great. What, what the hell? She can just do that? Oh, all right. So we're just, we're just we're just we're just there now. We're just we're just doing the whole ladder match thing, and Trish is there, and Chris Masters. Gee, remember when we had like a long build to like? I mean, granted, there were just like matches after matches after matches, but remember we had a long feud, and now it's just 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 yep. We're just going just going right back to just title match right right away. It was a top. I guess you could call him a prospect in WWE. They put him in big spots, but he never really amounted to everything. 
And then he got popped for steroids, I believe, at some point. Like, during this year, I believe. And dude just never really, then, you know, his body, like, changed, and he got shamed for it by Triple H on TV, like, national television. Which, you know, he never really ever recovered from that, no matter how hard he tried. It, 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 just, it just never panned out for him. He's still around today as Chris Adonis, I believe, but... I've never really been interested in the dude, and I don't know many people that have either. Um, when I was younger, I thought he was gonna be a big deal, you know, just because, like, also, like, the action figures... His was always obviously like the most buff action figure, so I thought it was it was just a fun toy to play with. So, you know, and and like they the way they positioned him in this game, and the way that they positioned him at the time when I started watching wrestling was that he was going to be a big deal. So in my head, you know, I made it like, what if he was a big deal? Like I think several times, you know, when you play with action figures and you create storylines, well, he was a part of some of them for a bit. So, you know, good job, Chris Masters. You were good enough to be a good action figure. I mean, look at this physique! Oh, yeah, remember you used to... He used to... Uh, well, it's gonna sound weird if I just cut off there, but he used to do the, the titty bouncing thing that The Rock used to do. He made that... He made that titty bouncing thing actually, like... Actually... You know the thing where you can, you know, guys pop their pecs? I mean, honestly, to my recollection, I feel like Chris Masters is the first guy I ever saw do that. But, I mean, people probably did it before him, but, like, actually, I, I, what am I saying? Probably, like, Schwarzenegger did that. And, I'm, and you know, and people are like, how are you just forgetting, like, the guy? Like, he, the, the, the guy that lifts things and picks them up and puts them down with his strong-ass arms in the real world. Yeah, he got that from Chris Masters. I don't even know if he ever actually did that. What am I talking about? Let's just get- we're gonna, we're gonna have a fucking ladder match. Yeah, so unlike a TLC match, we have an actual ladder match now. And it actually has some gimmicks to it, some mechanics. Instead of just reaching up and waiting for the title to be pulled down, you actually have to maneuver a little bit and try to pull it down you know, manually, and it's kind of hard, and it's really, really, really frustrating if you don't do it right. At least that's how I remember it. And also, if you don't, if you don't notice, we got fucking Trish here as well. So what I am planning on doing is I'm going to beat the shit out of this fucking guy. I don't need a ladder, I mean, I could use a ladder, I could use whatever, I'm just going to make this guy as red as possible. And it's Chris Masters, I've faced many of opponents that are definitely better than him. If you want to go use weapons, go ahead, the ref's out, I don't know why there's a fucking referee in the ring, because like, there's no pinfall, and in ladder matches, the refs don't tend to be inside the ring, they tend to be outside the ring. Oh wow. Oh, that's actually... Uh, did, did he ever actually do that? Oh, what am I tapping for? It's not even fucking... Also, does tapping or buttons repeatedly actually do anything? Alright, good. He's already in the in the yellow. See, the only thing with submissions is that it's, can't, it's not gonna really do as much damage as it could because they don't count it. Oh, great. He's, he's putting on a technical masterclass. Hey, you just bitch slapped the ref. Woo! Why did someone go... Ooh! Someone singing Booker T's theme in the in the crowd. Oh, I overshoot it. Oh wow. Oh, he's good at reversing. Oh, I remember when everybody under every annoying character used to do that shit. Hey, can you just fuck off? Can you just fuck off. I can put you in the master lock. Did Cena ever break the master lock? I, the first person I remember that did that was like Bobby Lashley, but I don't know if that was like. I shouldn't even, you know, that, like, I don't know if the Cena had done, I think Cena has done it before. So, and what I'm talking about, in case you're not aware, and wow, I'm yellow too. Alright, now I just gotta use weapons. Fuck it. Uh, but basically, Chris Masters, he used the thing called the Master Lock, which, uh, to those older wrestling fans, you're probably like, No, it's the full Nelson! 
It's only a full Nelson. Made by Nelson from The Simpsons. Or whatever it might be. Uh, when Chris Masters used it, it was called. And wow, that's totally the Undisputed Championship up there. Oh, good. Wait, this gives me stuff. Wait, what the fuck? Trish, what are you doing? Alright, can you... Get up. Oh, come on. He's fucking reversing everything. But Chris Masters used to do the Master Lock Challenge where a, an opponent, not an opponent, a guy would come into the ring, sit on a chair, and Chris Masters would apply the Master Lock, and guys would have to see if they can break it. Um, and like I said, Bobby Lashley did. I think Cena did once. I'm not sure if anybody else did. They're not playing with Kid Gloves. They're just playing with Kid Goku and Kid Boo. And, and why am I climbing up the fucking ladder? I don't want to climb. I want to pick the fucking thing up. Pick it up. Oh my god. Is this why I was so annoyed? Pick up the fucking... Pick up the ladder, John. Pick up the ladder. In the middle. Thank you. See, I wasn't pressing the wrong button. So let me beat the, I thought I thought using weapons makes you a heal, or at least in the in video game logic. All right, can we put this in directly the center? All right, you want to come in here? That's fine. Can you? Hey, hey! Don't you dare! Don't you fucking dare! Don't you dare! He's going for the ladder, you bitch! Wait, were you gonna climb up the ladder, really? You know, that's it. No, it's not. It's never it. It's never ogre. Oh my god, come on, you fucking butthole. Stop, that's, that's fucking Gold Dust and Randy Orton's move, damn it. Why, Cena, why are your hands clipping into your legs? I mean, yeah, King, but also shut, shut the fuck up. Thank you. Oh god, he's dead. Alright, cool. Oh, and now, and now, oh, I, I can only, I can only put the fucking thing down. Are you serious? All right, I guess I, I think I figured out what it is. All right, well, I'm not gonna reach for it now. This is about to get in the ring. What, you just gonna stand out there? Oh, I hit. That was on me. I hit the wrong button. Oh my God, Jesus Christ! He's taking advantage of fucking everything I'm doing. Uh oh, we might be in a pickle here. Uh, well, he's re he's recovering too. Oh no, oh no, now now Trish is getting involved. Nope. Oh, okay. That's easy for the fans to say. Oh, I thought I made her go orange already. Can you just Yeah, just do that. Just do that. You're gonna get it. <laughs> I just wanted to like Okay, why am I not able to use my finisher? Jesus Christ. Like, why do why they make Cena's punches so stupid that it doesn't land? Like, ever, unless you sweet spot the fucking thing. See that? See? Hit the... God. Oh. Dump him out of the ring. Good. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. Alright. No, oh, great. He didn't even get downed. Nope, now he's, he's getting fighting spirit, too. Just, just go, go reach for it. Go ahead, do it, do it, do it. You won't. Good job. Can you? What the fuck? He just teleported to that one. Do it again. Do it. You won't. Oh shit! He actually hit me that time. No. Is he just gonna keep doing that till you whiff? Oh fuck! Oh fuck! He can hit me again. He can hit me again. No! 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 Up. Oh. Well, okay, well, that's gonna win me the match. No, 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 get the fuck down, Cena, you suck. Get up, get up. Alright, cool. Oh, no, no, no. Damn it, it's too... Damn it, it's too fucking far. Oh my god. Can you just fucking sit the hell down? Alright, cool, just line it up like that. This one's better. Okay, you know what? I think I can actually do something up here. Yep, I know it. Oh no, but this is gonna hurt me too, isn't it? Oh no, oh god, I, yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Alright, well. Oh my god, if I really can't reach it now. Damn it. So yeah, if you use a finisher on the top of a ladder, you can do a suplex or another kind of move. 
It depends what it is for your character. I guess I gotta be up here. Oh, I got another one. Yes! <laughs> I didn't realize it took one punch. Oh, but he didn't get out of the ring this time. Alright, I hope that makes you lying flat. Alright, I got it. I got it. And you gotta find the sweet spot. Oh, 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 oh. There it is. Hold it. No. Yes, 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 yes. Go, 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 Oh, thank God. So, uh, did we win? Alright, I was not that badly hurt. Oh, he did get it. Wow, so I guess we kind of did recreate it. No, it's not. I won fair and square. Oh, he just punched me in the, the throat. Oh, my God. You know, not for nothing. These two guys aren't really the guys for a ladder match. Oh, oh! I think Masters is out, King. Why are they making it seem like this was a pretty even match? You're you're gonna bury us, ref. Are you alright? Uh, I guess there had to be a ref in the ring. Wait, why is there a disqualif? Why did the bell ring? Where are you going, Trish? Okay, so this is exactly what I saw. When I was a kid for that split second, I had no idea what was going on. But uh here it is. It looks to me like the masterpiece did just that. She took the title. This is a no disqualification match. How can anything be illegal in a match where everything So like they just book themselves into a corner in this even in this own thing and also like what? <laughs> so yeah, they're doing the whole someone else pulled the title down. So yep, our illustrious title win comes to an end, and Chris Masters becomes the WWE Champion because Trish pulled down the title. Literally something he's never done and he will never do in his career. Alright, so let's see what the headline on the website will read today. Vince McMahon, very angry. Chris Masters, WWE Champion? Yep, because that, that would never happen. Again, ECW on TV shows, but it's not in this game. Every Raw parent of the title ladder match, Chris Masters, Women's Champion. It was Mike Kyoto? Oh, they actually named him Mike Kyoto? So that is Mike Kyoto. Oh, shit. That's pretty cool. Everyone's got an opinion on what I did, but look, a ladder match is clearly defined as a no disqualification match. So I couldn't disqualify Trish Stratus for she did. She grabbed the title. It was victory. Uh, okay. Referee Mike Yoda made the call he felt was the right one at the time. The clear is this decision was questionable at best. Awarding the WWE title to somebody who visited Oh my god, there's so much shit. There's no precedent overturned referees. This is needless to say this. Under review at the WWE offices in Stamford, Connecticut until final resolution. <gasps> final resolution! Oh my god, we're going to impact levels! This is, this is, they have an impact level in this game. And this is probably from Trish telling me that she's gonna. Oh, it's Shane. Hey, they deleted all my Triple H messages about the game! Oh. He's like Stan. The board of directors is hashing it out, and I should have an answer for you next week. So your rematch against Masters tonight is not, I repeat, not for the WWE title. Believe me, we're trying to sort this thing out as quickly as possible. Hey Shane, I sent you messages, but you still ain't calling. I need to know what the board of directors are gonna do, cause my balls keep falling. I can't believe Trish Stratus made my draws dropping, cause my jaw was dropping when that shit was popping off in the middle of that ring when I did my thing. I won the ladder match, but it was not the right match because that stupid batch 
grabbed the title and gave it to Chris Masters, that stupid bastard. I just want to get so drunk and be so plastered. Ah, man, I just got to end this video faster. So I'll see you guys for the next episode while we... Uh, uh, you know what? I, I can't. I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> Peace, guys. See you guys in the next one. Stay the hell there. As I climb to the top, and I'm gonna do the Jeff Hardy move. Yeah! Oh, well, I didn't let it happen. Oh, and he's dead. He's dead. Wow, I just absolutely destroyed his self. Now, now, now you can leave. Now you have my permission to die. Yeah, I forgot it did that whole cinematic thing. I wouldn't have skipped it, but at least you saw part of it. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Just fucking get in the ring. You wanted to get in the ring so bad, just come on, get in the ring. Come on. Come on. You wanted to get in the ring so bad, just get in the ring so bad. Come on. 